Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Today, I wish to give God praise, thanks, and I wish to glorify Him in my life because He alone deserves the glory. I want to thank Him for His Word, the Bible. I want to thank Him for the aid of the Holy Spirit of God that He has given us that we could understand His Word. I want to thank Him for those who share His Word. And I want to thank Him for using His Word and drawing us unto Himself. Join me in listening to Joseph Hart and the song he wrote, Come You Sinners Poor and Needy. In the third stanza, he said, Come ye weary, heavy laden, lost and ruined by the fall. If you tarry till you're better, you will never come at all. I will arise and go to Jesus. He will embrace me in his arms, and the arms of my dear Savior, or oh, there are ten thousand charms. Thank you, Joseph, for reminding us how we can come to the Lord, and when we come, what he will do. Luke writes in Luke chapter 14, and he gives us this account of this man who had this banquet, and he sent and invited those that he would have loved to be there, many, to come. When they received the invitation, they received it saying, yes, we will come. He prepared the meal, and on the day for it to be served, he sent and called them. And the Bible said, he tell them, come, for all things are ready. I said to you that as I read that portion of scripture, the one I shared with you last morning, he said, come for all things are ready. Permit me to share a second one with you today. And that is, come for all classes are invited. I am so glad that salvation has with it an invitation for everybody. All classes are invited. In Luke chapter 14 and verse 21, the Bible said, So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servants, Go out quickly into the streets and the lane of the city and bring in hither the poor, the maim, the halt, and the blind. In Romans 10, 13, the scripture says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This reminds me of when the gospel was first presented to the Jews and the Gentiles were looked at as outsiders and the Jews rejected the gospel and God sent his servants to preach to the Gentiles. And today there are millions of Gentiles who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Come, for all classes are invited. You may say, but preacher, why would you say all classes? Who are those that you refer to in classes? The first class, he said, the poor. When you think of the poor, those are the ones who never know what it means to have a table spread or a banquet. They couldn't afford to have a banquet. The poor usually have to beg to get a meal. The poor are the ones that have things hard. Many of them don't know where their next meal coming from. The poor are the ones that walk hard. And when they walk, they're the ones that get paid the less. Very little interest is paid to the poor. But in this banquet, he sent out for the poor. Notice, not only the poor, he said, the main. These are those who have been derived of some of their limbs. In chapter 14, verse 12 and 13, and he said, He also to them that bid him, When thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends, not thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, not thy rich neighbors, lest 
they also bid thee again, and a recompense be made thee. But when thou makest a face, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, and the blind. These are considered the helpless ones. When I look at this, this represents those where sin has battered their lives. Not only the poor and the maimed, he said the halt. These are those who have all their limbs, but their limbs are in a crooked and a deformed condition. This group speaks of the crooks of the day, whose manner of life is not straight nor steady. Even though that may be true of them, God is still calling them to come to him and receive this free gift of salvation. But he put another group in there. He said, the blind. These are those who are in darkness and never saw or experienced the light of this world. Could you imagine? The things that we see and admire, the blind had never seen such. The person that is totally blind don't even know how he himself looks. If the blind would receive his sight and not be able to look upon his own body and you would give him pictures and say, identify yourself, the blind wouldn't know what he looks like if he was just given sight to identify pictures. So he called for the blind, those in darkness, never saw or experienced the light of the world. May I tell you that in a religious setting, their outward life may seem all right in the eyes of men, but the truth of the matter is, they know not where they are going. Why? Because they are blind. Oh, the God of this world have blinded their eyes. They are unconscious of the danger they are heading to. In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 14 to 16, but their minds were blinded. Not only eyes are blinded, their minds are blinded. He said, for until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away with in Christ. Some can see with their eyes, but they are still blinded. They are still holding on to some of the old ways of life. The veil has not been taken away as far as they are concerned, and it is taken away. He said in verse 15, But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. O oh God, help us, dear God. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3 to verse number 6, the Bible says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them that believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is in the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, had shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Listen to the words of 1 John chapter 2 and verse number 11. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Paul wrote to the church at Ephesus in chapter 4 and verse 18, he says, Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness. Yes, there are those who are blind physically, but worse than that, there are those who are blind spiritually. The prophet Isaiah he wrote in chapter 35, verse 4 and 5, he said, Say to them that are of a fearful heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Oh, my friend, 
whatever the situation is in your life, or oh, whatever class you may put yourself in, I want you to know that Jesus loves you and he's calling you to come to him. He said, if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Trust him if you have not. And if you have trust him, Let's go on trusting him until he comes or until he calls. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you for the privilege of knowing Jesus. Thank you for the word of God. Thank you for the clarity of the word. Thank you for the aid of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, that you are not prejudiced. God, thank you that whosoever shall call upon your name shall be saved. It matters not what they may have done. God, you died for those sins. You paid for those already. All they need to do is trust you. Have your way. Again, I ask you to bless every family that shares your word. We love you. We praise you. And we thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May God bless you. Do have a wonderful day. Don't forget, click that button. Share the devotion.